I discovered meditation and started to meditate every day. Uh, and then I uh, um, gave a last try, like uh, maybe a fifth try to a book called The Power of Now. Um, and um, what happened is when I started meditating and I read the book, like I started from the beginning and I started to experience shifts in my perception of reality. And uh, once when I was on the subway on my way home, when I closed the book and I was going to go off, everything just changed in front of me. I started to feel such a sick, extreme love and joy. And I started to feel like see everything Every color started to shine brighter. People started to shine around me. And it was like, it was like being in another dim dim dimension. I, I, I came home, I, everything just had like a pulse. I was in my apartment and I saw like, shit, I've been here so many times, but this is the first time I'm actually seeing this. Anyways, uh, th this experience held for maybe a week before it, uh, before, before it started to come down. And approximately like in the middle of that, uh, of that week, I just looked through the book. Uh, and in the beginning, the author uh, wrote something about that, um, yeah, humanity is not in, um, like, has more farther advanced uh, stage of consciousness um, than, than we are now, and we can take further leaps in our involvement. And I remembered that I have a friend that have talked about this for some uh, some years ago. So I called him and I said, hey Alex, I, I understand this now. I remember what you what you were talking about, that the, the, the evolvement in consciousness, because I'm feeling it. And when he started to re reply me, it was like my the, the whole experience, it started to like it went up with one million percent. I mean, everything started to shine around me. I felt like this connection to the whole universe. I felt my my heart as well as I felt like the the cars outside, and and it was just I, I just felt everything. Uh, anyways, the words he said that triggered that was yes, I know, and there are people out there who are trying to control our knowledge about this through media and our education system and uh, the financial system and I started to speak about this. I kind of saw like visions about all he was saying. I started to see our school systems. I started to, it was like if our information about, about how the, our whole society is built up started to pour into me from all the directions. I saw the two, I'm saying this, I saw the two planes going in uh, toward the center 9-11th and I saw just everything that I, I could see and it was like if I got all the knowledge that there was to know in the world into my head then. But anyways, I wanted you to speak about what the words he's told me, that there are forces trying to cut off away from our connection with the source. How does that affect me? Much of what you just described is what we've been talking about here relative to what influence are you under? Are you under the influence of source or are you under the influence of a stream of human thoughts that have been projected? Let's just start there because as you were reading the book, The Power of Now, and you have that experience where you stepped into the fullness of who you are. If you'd paused in your story at that point, we wanted to jump in and say to you that what you were experiencing then was seeing the world through the eyes of source. Yes, yes. In other words, you lost your resistance and you tapped in to this awareness that your inner being has about who you are and about the world. In other words, you were deciphering through that broader perspective. This conversation is a wonderful one to have on the heels of the one that we had earlier about our friend who found himself being a better me for a moment. And we wanted to use the words a fuller me, a more all-inclusive me, or the best way of saying it is you were able to suspend for a moment the reluctant human part of yourself and allow yourself the fullness of all that you are. Well, 
the thing that happens one of the reasons that we had the conversation that we had earlier today about understanding what influence you're under as you make the decision whether to stay in that vibration in that train of thought is because whatever vibration you've got going on law of attraction will cause it to be more and we want to make a distinction about something and we're going to be very gentle about it here because nothing has gone wrong here this is all really a wonderful experience that you've had we just want you to acknowledge with us we're asking you all to do something that most humans don't do we're asking you to be vibrationally aware which is the same thing as saying emotionally aware but emotional awareness because of vibration is an awesome power it's an awesome clarity it will bring momentum in a very quick and clarifying way stay with us this is going to make a lot of sense to you in just a minute when you become someone who is aware that they can read energy who is aware that they are a receiver it's like when you learn to read a language you could go to a library or a bookstore and you could take anything from the shelf and participate in it but everything that's on the shelf may not be something that you want to participate in so having a keen awareness of what your interests are before you go in there is really helpful otherwise you're going to be looking through all kinds of things this is a big subject and we are enjoying how well you're all staying with us because this is going to be wonderful as we come to this culmination here understanding that whatever you're giving your attention to will bring more and more and more of it and understanding that there are all kinds of thoughts that are there is something to think about or consider but then this one piece that we want it's gonna be all right you're getting out ahead of us and you're anticipating that we're saying something to you that we're not saying to you <laughs> it's just chill when you realize that you are a receiver and that what this subject really is about is the stick subject that we talked about earlier so let's pick up the stick that is called humanity and then let's pick up the stick that is called life experience on planet earth let's pick up the stick that is called destiny or future in other words these are subjects that people really want to think about these are subjects that people really do think quite a bit about and on one end of the stick there is source and there is freedom and there is empowerment and there is deliberate creation and there is empowerment we're going to keep saying that word there is knowledge there is well-being there is eternalness and on the other end of that stick there is control there is worrisomeness there is lack of freedom there is dominance there is domination it's the same stick so you had an experience when you were devouring the power of now you tapped in to the perspective of source about all of that but you didn't maintain your connection with that because the other end of the stick began to creep in a little bit too because this was a new thought for you this was a new thought that you were not yet we really don't want to use the word disciplined someone used the word practicing like a muscle earlier that's easier but these were such new thoughts you weren't solid in your ability to hold yourself in the vibrational frequency of your source but you'd activated all of that and then the next conversation that came to you was really the other end of the stick there is no reality beyond the reality that any of you are creating in other words there could be a segment of you that are on this end of the stick and that's the way your world and your life is treating you and there could be a segment on the other end of the stick and that's the way their life is treating them and the thing that we really want to emphasize is what we were talking about about the piles earlier that there really only are two piles and it's the pile of those who are in this moment in alignment with source energy and those who in this moment are not in alignment with source energy there is no world dominance there is no one on this planet that has the ability to overtake you or empower you or to deprive you of the well-being that you want in the way that you began to describe it just a little bit there but you certainly can block your own abundance and when enough people are not understanding how the laws of the universe work and are not understanding their ability their easy ability to tap into that just like you did just by reading a book and in just a little bit of meditation you tap
tapped into the fullness of that it lasted for a long time with you that's how powerful it is this is not a hard thing to tap into but because most people don't what most people do instead is want that but focus somewhere other than that and then feel the absence of this thing that they want so much so often that they begin to create a stream of consciousness that really does not have a source of reality say this again there is no source of negative energy there is only a source of pure positive energy and here's why you come into this physical body from that stream of pure positive energy and you live and sort and sift through the contrast and you launch these rockets of desires and you put these powerful desires for more for the evolution of that which you are over here into this vortex and your inner being focuses upon every good thing that you carved out of life experience and gives it undivided attention so much so that your inner being has no resistance to all the good that you've carved out of life experience and that vibrational reality that vortex that collection of energies gathers cooperative components in other words all good stuff comes to that and then you use your emotions to lead yourself to that hopefully while you're still in this physical body but if you were to croak we love that disrespectful word since there is no death and you were to re-emerge into non-physical guess what you find there guess what you take there guess who you are as you go there you leave behind all doubt and fear you leave behind all bondage you leave behind all hatred you leave behind all disempowerment you become the fullness you become that being that you felt yourself to be in all of those days after you had that very close experience you see that's how you feel when you re-emerge into non-physical you know the goodness of all that is and so as you and everyone else and everyone will eventually re-emerge into non-physical it is from that basis that all that comes forth comes forth in other words evil intention will never get a foothold it's only something that people make up and use as their reason to pinch themselves off from who they really are from who they inevitably be you see so you had a powerful dose of that where you get to make a conscious decision about which way do I want to flow what end of that stick am I going to focus upon? Because both ends of every stick, poverty is available and so is abundance. Confusion is available and so is clarity. Happiness is available and so is sadness. In other words, in every moment you have the ability and the better practice you get at it, the better you'll be able to accomplish it. You have the ability. So you were influenced by another human in that magnificent book to be under the influence of who you really are you found the influence of who you really are talk about I don't even want to use the word better self but you found the wholeness of who you are you see does that make sense to you yes yeah, yeah it does yeah it was a lot to consider did you get it yes. yeah <laughs> much of the world and a lot of those well-meaning people who have mentored you along the way really thought that if they could warn you about things that you could make better choices without understanding that their warning would cause you to focus in a way to activate a vibration within you that would deprive you of your true nature and who you truly are and there are a lot of people doing that these days but there have always been a lot of people doing that it's okay they'll croak and they'll feel better in other words <laughs> and the dilution ratio is so wonderful because new ones are coming in skipping and knowing and loving and old ones are croaking and skipping and loving and knowing you see pessimists don't like to hear the words that well-being abounds but well-being abounds you see it just does it just does it just does